Here's a double slit experiment studying interference pattern. So you have light of wavelength, don't know what wavelength, coming in and you have bright fringes all marked out nicely for you here on the right side. Okay, interference pattern is observed. Three meters away, this is what we call D, the distance between the slit and the screen. And uh, the slits have a separation of one millimeter. So that is this thing here we call A, which is one mm. The central bright fringe and the second bright fringe from center is at P. Okay. They bolded the word second. I wonder why. What is the distance between Q and P in terms of lambda? Because you see all this lambda, lambda, lambda here. So we need to find the distance between bright fringes. So if we zoom in on this picture, how are we going to find the distance between bright fringes? We scratch our head. Okay, do you remember any equation that has to do with the double C experiment? Probably, hopefully you do. There's this one, lambda equals to AX over D for double C experiment. Or you can rearrange it to say X equals to lambda D over A. So what is X? X here is the distance between one bright fringe and the other bright fringe. So bright to bright, X also known as fringe separation. But hold up. They want you to find distance PQ. So that should be 2x. Now we can do the calculations. Okay. So we need to find what x is and we need to times 2 to get our answer. So we can guess, I guess we can say x will be, I don't know what the wavelength is. I'll just lambda. Okay, lambda, sure. 3 meters. Make sure everything's in meters. Divide by slit separation. So that's 1 times 10 to the negative 3 meters. So my separation will be 3 divided by 1 times 10 to negative 3, which is a whopping big 3,000 lambda. I don't know what the lambda is, but I'm just going to write 3,000 for now. So that is x, but we want pq, distance pq, this whole thing here, here. So you need to remember that PQ is two times the fringe separation. So two of 3,000 lambda. Well, oh man, my head is blocking this again. So two times 3,000 lambda will be 6,000 lambda. So that should be the answer. Distance between PQ. Let's check. So the answer, oh my, they are in prefixes. So 6,000 lambda will be equivalent to 6 times 10 to the power of 3. Lambda. So the answer will be A. Best choice. Yay! The answer is A. Okay, so be careful. They are not asking for fringe separation. They're asking for distance between PQ. If you got trapped in that, make some notes on your paper. La, so you don't keep on doing the wrong same mistake. Read the question carefully. Okay, so that's all for this question. I will see you in the next one.